Hi, welcome to T-Metric Tutorials. In this video, I'll introduce you to reports in T-Metric and explain what report types exist, how to generate a specific report, export report data to various formats, and configure the report settings within a workspace. Let's start with a project summary report. It shows summarized information on all your projects in your workplace, including data on clients, project budgets, budget spendings, time, and billable time. The next type is the task summary, and it gives you detailed information on the amount of time spent by each member on tasks within your project. The report displays data in a table organized by usernames, tasks, projects or clients, time, and billable time. The team summary report shows precise data about all the members of the workspace. The information is arranged by person, workdays, time worked, paid time off, time balance, billable time, billable amount, and costs. A payroll is created based on the team summary report. The activity summary report comes next, which contains full information about all user activity and categorized time depending on the way it was added to the app. You can use this report to audit the recorded working time, how much time a user was active, inactive, and actually worked, the amount of time added using a timer and manually, and how active a user generally was at the workspace. The detailed report shows time tracking details on a day-by-day -day basis. It includes a list of tasks that were worked on by each member of the workspace on a given day. The report displays data in a table grouped by day, user, time entry, project or client, and time. Last but not least is the Apps Usage Report, which provides statistics on the most used applications both in the form of a visual graph showing apps usage represented in percentages and a table with data showing app names and users' time spent on each app. The applications and websites are tracked by the T-Metric Desktop Client. Now let's go over a few important points about reports. For any report, you can select a required time range in the date picker located at the top right corner of the page, as well as filter and group the report according to your needs. Also, Dmetric allows you to export reports to a CSV or PDF file. The exported report may further be used by administrators, project managers, and any other related people to analyze workflow performance and share the time tracking data. Furthermore, you can change the workspace settings related to reports, which allows you to customize a report to fit your needs. Here you have a chance to enable or disable time rounding in reports. For billing purposes, it can be useful to round time entries in reports. For example, if you charge your clients on an hourly basis. And you are free to select a time format for your reports and whether you'd like to see the start and end times of the entries in the detailed report. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.